This term's project is based on the theme of birds and we're going to look at the work of Julia McKenzie. Start by tracing one of the birds of your choice from the sheets. Remember to press down hard with your pencil, creating a bold line. This will make it easier to transfer onto your background. Go along as much detail as possible, making sure you've got a sharp pencil for the finer little bits of detail. Once you've traced your image, you're going to flip it and trace it onto a piece of the matte paper. Secure your trace down with some masking tape and use the plastic end of a pair of scissors to rub over your pencil lines. Make sure you're pressing down hard and you're checking a little bit at a time to make sure your print has gone through to the other side. If you'd prefer you can go over your lines in pencil, I prefer to use this technique as I find it quicker for images with lots of detail. Whichever one you choose, make sure your tracing paper doesn't move. You're then going to neatly cut out your bird. Chop off the larger sections first before trying to cut the smaller, more intricate details. Once you've cut out one bird, you're going to use it as a template to draw around to create a second. Again, neatly cut this out. You should now have two birds on matte paper. Taking inspiration from this image, you're going to neatly draw a branch into the background of your page. Make sure your drawing fills the whole of your page. Remember, use soft sketchy lines in case you make a mistake and you need to rub out. Thinking about your composition, glue your birds down onto your background. We're now going to create some 2D relief feathers from paper. On the coloured paper, draw some feathered shapes. Cut these out and start to layer them into your bird. You can use one feather and repeat it onto other pieces of coloured paper so you get the same shape each time. Start to glue them into your bird thinking about your composition. Just glue one end down and leave the other sticking up. You can even pinch and shape these feathers with your fingers. Keep creating lots of layers and overlapping the feathers until you've got a full effect. With spare bits of matte paper, start to add some more feathers using that. This will break up the colours of the feathers. Now using a black pen, start to add in all of the detail. Neatly outline your bird, adding all the small bits of detail that you traced on earlier. 
If you can't quite see what you've traced onto your map paper, refer back to your piece of tracing paper with all the detail on. Start to outline the detail in your background as well. Once you've done that, start to repeat the process of adding feathers to your second bird. Use the sheet that explains what different birds represent. I've chosen to use the word freedom and I'm going to write it multiple times into my background. Then I'm going to join up each word with my pencil, inspired by the artist. I'm then going to outline using my black pen to make my words stand out. You can use any word off the sheet, but try to make it linked to the bird that you've drawn.